Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313 and welcome to episode... Oh crap. What episode is it? I feel like it's episode 12. Welcome to episode 12 of my Let's Play series. Um, <laughs> I thought I knew what I was going to say when I started this off and then I'm like, wait, hold on. Um, <clears throat> um, but yeah. Anyways, this is episode 12. And as you can see, I had this room torn apart um, because, again, I logged in here. Everything was all the way down to speed of zero, heat of zero, and that really pissed me off. So I tried doing this, and this seems to work. Whenever I log out and log back on, it seems to, you know, be okay, but this is complete waste. I mean, we're wasting all the energy that we are producing from these solar panels that we have right here. So I'm just going to <clears throat> kind of guess that, um, what the hell? I'm going to just kind of guess that it's a bug with the MFE, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade the thing that we have into an MFSU, and we're going to see if that works any better. So let me go ahead and get some of the resources I'm going to need for that, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back here, and as you can see, I have some of the ingredients that I'm going to need in uh, making these MFEs. Um, I am going to go ahead and just make a few more electronic circuits. I need 12 more of them. Uh, this is a very expensive recipe, and awesome, I got, oh wait, no, oh, still need one more, um, so let's go ahead and make six of these, and then we can go ahead and make one more electronic circuit, perfect, so we're going to need a total of 13 electronic circuits, now with these electronic circuits, if we throw one of them, we only need one, and we put some glowstone like that, some lappies on the sides, and redstone in the quarters, we get or on the corners, we get an advanced circuit. This is used to make some of the more advanced machines in industrial crafts. Alright, and as you can see, I also made my little machine block, because um, I had to wait a while for those to, uh, you know, get all ready and whatnot, so I just went ahead and made that off camera. You guys saw me make a whole bunch of them uh, in earlier episodes, so I'm in the first. Alright, so let's go into uh, NEI here and see what else we need in order to build this MFSU. As you can see, we're going to need uh, let's, uh, six Lapatron crystals. Alright, so we got everything in the middle here. Now we have to make the Lapatron crystals. We're first going to need some energy crystals. Alright, so if we need six, then we're going to need six energy crystals. And that's pretty simple. We got that. We're also going to need some lappies and some electronic circuits. Alright, we can do that. And my phone just rang. And we're just gonna, since we only, only have, oh wait, no, we're gonna need more redstone. Let me just go ahead and grab the rest of the stack of that. And then we can go ahead and, I'm not sure if you guys saw me this, so I'm gonna craft it in here. Put a diamond in the middle, surround it by redstone. There we go, we get uh, energy crystals. Let's go ahead and get our redstone back. And when we put a redstone or a uh, energy crystal in there, hold on, we need some lapis. Oh, we're going to need more, aren't we? Let's go ahead and just get that much worth of lapis. There we go. Uh, looks like we're just going to use the rest. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and put that in there and then get some lapis. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so now I have 64 lapis and we're going to go into our crafting table and we're going to make a pattern like so. Alrighty. So we need six of these. And notice how they don't stack, which is kind of a pain, but you know, whatever. We're going to put our electronics on top and bottom, and we're just going to throw in our energy crystal and get a lap drawn crystal out of it. Alright, awesome. Quite a bit of them. Alright, now we can go ahead and put our lappies back in here, along with our redstone. I believe we're done with that. And we can go back into our crafting recipe. We put our MFE in the middle, advanced machine block on the bottom, get rid of NEI, advanced circuit on the top, and throw in all our Lapatron crystals, and bam, we got the MFSU. Now we're going to need one more uh, thing before we go ahead and start using this. Um, hold on, I think I'm going to put it... Right there. Yeah, alright. So I just need to get a few more things, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back, guys, and, um, you know, we got our MFSU, 
uh, hooked up, and, you know, that's pretty cool, but remember how I was saying how there's a low, medium, and high voltage in industrial craft? Well, the MFSU, since it's so advanced and so powerful, it outputs at high voltage, which is 512 EU per tick. So this would be too much for this, which then would make it too much for these things. So what we need to do is we need to uh, kind of tone that down a little bit and use a medium voltage transformer to convert that into medium voltage. And then we, you know, use the low voltage in order to convert that medium voltage to um, low voltage. Yes, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Alright, so in order to do that, we're going to need a machine block, like so. And then we're going to need some copper cables. One on top, one on bottom, gets us an MV transformer. Simple enough, right? It's a very simple recipe for, uh, I mean, it's not too expensive. I mean, right now it's kind of expensive, but that's only because I am extremely low on iron. I believe I have two more pieces of iron. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what we have to do about that. Uh, I've been meaning to go, um, mining for a while, and I have yet to do so. So let's go ahead and get rid of that thing. Now let's go ahead and put the, uh, wait, we need, we need that. Let's go ahead and put the low voltage transformer right there. We're going to need to orient it differently, of course. Um, so we're going to have that going with the higher voltage with three dots, and then the low voltage being right there. I'm not going to hook anything up yet, just in case I mess up or misplace a block. Um, and then we're going to use our glass fiber cables, bring this up here. And then we're going to hook up our medium voltage transformer. Get rid of this, so we can hook up our medium voltage transformer. Alright. Wow, it's raining. I hate rain. And we're going to go ahead and just put that like so. Alrighty, hold on, but we don't really want to connect it like that, so let's go ahead and make things look a little bit better. Alrighty. Uh, what we're going to have happen is the glass fiber cable is going to go down here and into there. Alright, so that's where it's going to get its power from. The output is going to be on this side right here. Alright, and then we're going to use more glass fiber cables in order to hook these up. Alright, so hopefully we should have everything right. Hopefully we don't have any explosions. Um, but, you know, if we do, we'll just have to fix it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get all that cleaned up. Go over here, and hook this up, and cross our fingers. No explosions. And everything's gaining speed. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to... Oh, it's daytime, I believe. Pretty sure it's daytime. Yeah, I believe it's daytime, which, that sucks. Well, now since it's raining, we're not going to get any power and that's going to drain all the power out. Crap. Let's go ahead and just make everything look kind of nice. Um, I, I think I like the uh, the MFSU being right there. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I don't know. Anyways, like I said, don't want to spend too much time on this because we have other things to do. And since uh, YouTube is being a uh, you-know-what again and rejecting my videos and disabling them from monetization, um, I'm going to try something new and try to make every episode around 20 minutes-ish, alright, so I'm going to try to have a little bit shorter episodes, so, and if this doesn't work, you know, with the shorter episodes, expect one of those funny introductions that we got last time. So as you can see, our fermenter is doing fairly well, we have a good amount of biofuel, and we're, you know, out of, uh, steam, or, you know, whatever that is. So let's go ahead and get some stuff crafted up so that we can solve that problem. I'm going to put my copper in there, I'm going to put my stuff in there, as well as my wrench goes in my bag. And I might as well just put the glass fiber cables in there as well. Alrighty, awesome. So as you can see, very low on iron. I might have to get some more later in the episode. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and look up what we want to craft. First off, we want to get our we want to get ourselves a good amount of glass. That way we can craft up uh, those tanks that I was talking about, um, you know, in the... Uh, a little bit ago. Alrighty. Alright, so let's get that. And then when we come into here, 
we're going to open up our crafting table and just put those in it and we're going to have 16 tanks alright because we are going to use a lot and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some right here alright and I believe I want to have two so this torch is going to have to move alrighty awesome and then we're going to have some refinery and some fun stuff right here. And then we're going to have probably like three sets or something right here. Um, but of course it's not really going to work. So I'm just going to kind of put that right there. Alrighty. Awesome. Now I have to make a uh, special kind of pipe in order to uh, have this go into here. We need two different kinds of pipes. These pipes are going to be from the additional buildcraft objects. Um, and these are probably some of my favorite additions to Buildcraft. They, other than logistics pipes, these just really, really help you out when you're trying to do this type of stuff with uh, liquids and whatnot. Let's see if I could find them first. Is this it? Yes, it is. All right, so we're going to need two different things. First off, we're going to need a valve pipe. That's going to require some wooden waterproof pipes, a lever, and uh, yeah, that gets us a valve pipe. So let's go ahead and craft those up. We're going to need some wood, which I believe we have in here. Alright, so we have some wood with a crafting table. We have wooden waterproof pipes. Or no, just wooden truck pipes. But with some waterproof piping stuff, we'll have some waterproof wooden pipes. Alright, awesome. Now we're going to need a lever, which is just going to be some sticks and a piece of cobble. Alright, now on our crafting table, we can go ahead and pull it up again. And right there right there and we get ourselves a valve pipe alrighty cool we're gonna need some of these pipes as well and uh, I'm just gonna put that right there we're also going to need this thing a balance pipe and that's going to need a redstone engine and some wooden waterproof pipes let's go ahead and craft up a redstone engine um, we'll just go ahead and just get that wood and that way we can use our automatic crafting table I love this thing by the way it is we're not an automatic crafting table but crafting table 3 so I'm going to get three, four of those, two of those actually, and then I should be able to get, oh no, I need a piece of iron and a piece of redstone, right, because I need to craft a piston in order to do this. Alright, so now we should have the option, crafting a redstone engine. Awesome. Okay. Redstone engine, and then of course we're going to need more pipe waterproofing, aren't we? I hate this rain. Screw me. Need two more. And let's go ahead in here. Let's throw these on there. Come on. And we'll put these back in there. Put that in there. And let's go ahead and craft this thing up. Alright. That like that. That in the middle. We get a balance pipe. Alright. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to hook my golden pipes up to it. And when we get ourselves another lever like so and we're gonna put it just above there when we turn it on you notice some of the biofuel starting to go into this tank right here and I plan on producing a lot of biofuel so this one tank is not gonna be enough but we don't wanna you know have extra piping and you know having it go going to both places no we want it to be an even distribution between these two things what we do is we use this balance pipe and as you can see it's just gonna balance out the liquid that's inside uh, the two adjacent tanks. And you can actually use this for up to four. You could have one on here and then one on this side, and that's pretty cool as well. So this, what it's going to do is when a redstone signal is applied to it, it's pretty much like a valve. It opens up and lets any fuel, in this case, uh, biogas, that is produced, and it lets it go into here. Or it lets it go into the adjacent piping. So that's pretty cool. And I believe we're going to upgrade our steam engine, alrighty? Let's go ahead and use this thing, if we go into NEI here. Hold on one second. Alright, so I'm back here. Um, and look, it stopped raining. Ooh. And uh, let's see, what was I going to build? Alright, we're going to go over here to where we can see all the engines from uh, forestry. The forestry part of the, the side. And right here we're going to have a biogas engine. Ooh, let's look at this. Bronze gears, pistons, some glass, and some bronze ingots. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we're going to need some bronze, alright? So let's go ahead and get ourselves some bronze. It's dark. Let's 
go into here. Sorry guys, I'm using equivalent exchange a little excessively, but it's worth it. And it's whatever. Alrighty, so now let's go into a crafting table like this. And let's just go ahead and get... There we go. 32 pieces of that stuff. Alright, and now if we go ahead and grab some wood out of here, we should be able to grab our bronze gears. We can grab a sturdy machine. We are going... To, oh wait, no. No, we won't. I lied. Let's go ahead and get a stone gear. Let's actually go ahead and get another stone gear. Let's then go ahead and get two bronze gears. Oh wait, no crap, these are copper gears. I want those. I'll use them eventually. Stone, bronze, bronze. There we go. Awesome. Alright, and now we're going to need another piece of iron. Our last piece of iron. And another piece of redstone. And we're going to get ourselves, hopefully, scroll down here, a biogas engine. Woohoo! Alrighty, so we're going to go over here. And actually, I'm going to sleep first. Hold on. Alright, so I'm back over here, and I'm just going to get rid of the steam engine. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. I know I wasted like a little bit of charcoal, but you know, that's, it's not that much. So, we're going to put that right there. And right now it's not going to do anything. Well, one, because it doesn't have any biogas. But what we're going to do about that is we're going to dig under here, I think. Actually, get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of these two. Go oh no, forgot this is giving it uh, water. Okay, I guess that could be a problem, couldn't it? Alright, well I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to use the valve pipe right there. And then we're going to use this, and I remember it being kind of glitchy when you had to connect it to the side. Yep, alright, it's not going to let me connect it to the side, so I have to connect it to one of these. So just a little bit longer of a process, but uh, yeah. I don't want it going into there. That'd be kind of pointless. Well, this is just really being a pain. And there's probably a certain pipe that I could use in order to fix this little issue, but for now, we're going to do it the long way. Because we are awesome at this game. Alright, so that looks absolutely beautiful. Sarcastic. And, uh, yeah, now what we need is not only do we need our lever that we had, that right there, that right there. Alright, so it's still not doing anything, well, one, because it doesn't have any biogas. Alrighty, so I'm just going to put a bucket of bio biogas in there, put this bucket back. I actually need a bucket. Alright, so what I need to do now is go and get lava. The reason why I have to get lava is because uh, lava is used to kind of kickstart the machine. You only need it once when it's first starting off, and then after it's running, you no longer need the lava. Unless, of course, it stops again because it runs out of fuel or, you know, whatever your problem may be. So, you know, pretty cool. So we're going to go down here, and I know I can find lava down here somewhere because I have it everywhere. Hold on. Forgot to restart my timer when I took a break. Where's my soda? Which soda's good? I'm gonna guess this one. That tastes like a fresh soda. Alright, cool. So we got ourselves a bucket of lava. Let's go ahead and walk back upstairs. I'll actually meet you up there soon. Alright, so I'm back in my room. Successfully have a, um... A fiery bucket. Mm, that's that's interesting. Let's go ahead and teach it there, and let's go ahead and put it in here. The lava's gonna go into this machine, and now when hopefully it's already on. Now hopefully what's going to happen is we're gonna see it warm up, and then it's gonna start to run. Awesome. So now we should get some some biogas eventually. And it's kind of like a, I'm not sure if it's a 50-50, but every once in a while I'll go over here and start to fill this one up more. 
So I may have to put just a few more buckets um, just, you know, to get it started. And then once it's really started, it will, uh, you know, do a lot better. Um, but for now, like I said, I'm just kind of going to uh, help it along here just so we don't accidentally run out or anything. And now the reason why I'm using this is because, well, it won't explode. And I don't really have to babysit it as much as I would with the steam engine. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we are using biogas to produce biogas at this point. But don't worry, it is a... Uh, we are still getting biogas, even though we are using some of it up in here. You can see that it produces it fairly quickly. And I need one more bucket. Come on. Oh, what? what was that for? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that was my timer telling me that, hey, it's been 20 minutes. Okay, so I guess I can't put that in there. We put it in here. There we go. Alrighty. So, looks like that's about it for this episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. We've gotten just a little bit done. There's only so much that we can do in 20 minutes, but, you know, like I said, YouTube's being a complete retard. Hopefully they, dis they don't disable many more of my videos. Um, I mean, you know, like I said last time, if they keep doing it, then I'm just going to have to stop uploading videos because it's kind of just getting ridiculous and obnoxious by now. Uh, I mean, I've used, you know, the same uh, ways to, you know, claim ownership, you know, saying this is a video of me showing the YouTube user, uh, viewers, you know, how to set up various systems in the game of Minecraft. I'm commenting the whole time. It's... Uh, to, uh, you know, tell the viewers what I'm doing and, you know, all that bull crap. And, uh, apparently that still isn't good enough for them, so. Whatever. Whatever suits you. Alright, okay. Alrighty, so, you know, like I said, this has been Drawing at 1313. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you join me next time. Um, but, yeah. Don't forget that the competition for, you know, that Dr. Oz uh, transform Transformation Nation is still going on, so uh, if you want, you can go ahead and visit episode 10, um, and, you know, go ahead, click on that link to vote. Um, again, I would really appreciate your guys' support because I mean, she has just worked so, so hard on this. I mean, I've never really seen her work so hard on anything else before, and it's... It'd be really disappointing, you know, to see her not win. I'm mean, not saying that the other people, you know, don't deserve to win. Uh, I mean, everyone deserves a chance, but, you know, cool. Guys, I really appreciate support. Um, but yeah, like I said, try and get 1313. I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope you join me next time. Until then, I'll see you.